Hi Scorpio, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. We are looking at your week of December 7th, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings located below this video. Okay, Scorpio, if you have not checked out your live reading uh, for the month of December, please find that on the channel's playlist under monthly videos because it's kind of an extended version of your weeklies, okay? Okay, Scorpio, so what we've got going on, there's a lot of scattered energy around you guys, um, like that need for freedom and just kind of crazy feeling, okay? There is a short uh, victory coming up. There's also endings and closures is what I'm seeing with new doors open. Kind of like that death card energy. So it may be a little bit emotional. I do see that you are able to count your spiritual blessings and there's more than one coming in. You're under an era of good luck and abundance as well as a good business deal. It's uh, small wishes being granted, but Scorpio, what you got to look work on, it looks like your self-esteem. So, here we start with that Ten of Cups. It's all about love. You know, Scorpio, I will say that um, my readings, I will tell you, you're working for the Four of Wands or Ten of Cups. And Ten of Cups, total, complete happiness. All these offers of love, money, um, not money, love, and um, just help in general and just the perfect home life. That's what I see for Scorpio. With that, you have the Seven of Swords. That is a warning card. This is someone that is lying to you. Um, I would like to say it's deception or perhaps a warning of someone stealing against from you. But more than likely, Scorpio, this is someone that is lying to you. Then we have, yes, the devil. There's a deception. So you need to really take a hard look at your inner circle, that circle around you, okay? It's not in a home life, but it's in the circle around you because there is someone lying and there is someone that is deceptive. With that, we have the Popus, and this is you in this reading. This is you, grounded, centered, feeling good, knowing your energy, knowing what you're capable of, okay? Then we have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands, that's where I was talking about that um, short victory. This is total victory and total success. And a lot of times, Scorpio, this could also indicate that you are around people that you're not normally surrounded by, but not in a bad way. Then we have that Knight of Pentacles. That's that good business deal I was referencing, okay? Definitely a good business deal coming in to play here. And moving forward, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, this is really good energy. This is um, a message of love coming in. Uh, this is an unexpected offer of assistance as well as an unexpected offer of love. Also representing a Pisces. Now, when I throw out a zodiac sign, please know that it may or may not resonate with you. Okay, and then we have the Five of Cups. Okay, this is the card that says, when I talk about your self-esteem to get out of your own head, you are way, way, way overthinking things. Let that energy go. Doesn't serve you a purpose. And we have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords says you're too defensive. Well, when someone is lying to you and someone's defensive, um, has, you know, a little bit shady around you, that's probably why you're so defensive. But then there's a such thing that you're too guarded and you're too defensive. So be mindful of finding the proper balance that you need in the week of December 7th. Okay, Scorpio, let's take this deck and clarify what we've got going on here. Starting with that perfect home, the perfect love life up here in your Ten of Cups. With that Ten of Cups, guys, there's that wish fulfillment that I spoke about at the beginning. This is wish fulfillment, but it also says if there's any delays this week, they're actually in your favor. There is the moon. That moon is falling right there on that seven of swords of someone being, uh, someone lying to you. This is deception. 
And right beside that, we have that deceptive person with the um, devil card also offsetting with the world card, meaning the world is your oyster. Honestly, Scorpio, you know exactly, exactly who this person is. I don't see a confrontation, but I can tell you this. With this focus card here, I would not be surprised if you called them out. Eight of Swords, card of self-imposed restriction. This is where I'm talking about your self-esteem. Let that energy go. Next to that, we have the Six of Wands, the total victory, the total success. With that, you guys have got the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Swords indicating something rushing in. What is rushing in? Financial independence. So that's where your victory and your success lies. There is new money coming into play. And right beside that is the good business deals with that Knight of Pentacles showing temperance. Also representing a Sagittarius energy. This is that cliche of when you do the same thing, you get the same result. You, Scorpio, realize it's time to change things up. And changing things up helps with that victory and the success. The Page of Cups coming in with that unexpected offer of love. Be warned of foolish decisions. Okay? Since that is coming into play with the love life, like I said, don't move too quickly or watch where you're walking because, see, you don't want to fall off that cliff right there. Then we have the Five of Cups. That's that get out of your head energy. Why? Beautiful. Because you've got the Hermit. This indicates that you are on the right path. You are doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being. And we have that Five of Swords where we have that deception and the lies. And I said you're just too defensive. There it is again. That's why. Seven of Swords. That's twice. There is definitely someone lying to you. Now, Scorpio, do not take this as a bad week because it's certainly not. You've got news of new money coming in, financial stability. You're on the right path. That's the biggest thing right there. Don't overthink things because you're on the right path. You've got the happiness on the home, the, the wish fulfillment, but you do have a shady person there and you do have someone that's lying to you and it's coming in as a warning. So you are very much aware of it. Scorpio, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out your monthly video, your daily video, as well as your weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.